Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notification. Thank you. Friends, today we will see the requirement real time scenario where let's say you have a file like this. If you see here for the same customer ID 100, there are multiple records are present which means that this customer 100 which is having the name Apple might have purchased multiple times. So first he purchased a book 5 quantity and then he purchased box with 8 quantity something like that and similarly even this 101 customer ID also have multiple records in the customer table the base purchase table let's say. So now we need to see how can we convert that into JSON format or any other dictionary format basically. So which will group by customer ID and customer name because this is common if you see the customer ID and customer name are common and we have to collate the items with the quantity like what all that customer has been purchasing the how from uh, the date if you have a date you can have a date condition or you can just simply take it that as well so the expected uh, this one is format is like the customer id and the customer name and under the purchases under the this outer tag we should have the item and the quantity item and the quantity so we will see in PySpark how can we convert this data to this kind of JSON or dictionary data. So with this I have created a data frame friends. I have a file which is having the same data. We just saw in the PPT right. The same thing. Customer ID, customer name, item name and quantity and all this data and for a few records it is getting repeated. You can see here right. Now we will see First we will group by and we will get it to a structure and then we will convert that into a dictionary. So now let me create a data frame. This data frame will perform the group by and structuring the data. For this I am having group by. We need to group by two columns. okay group by two columns and then after group by we have to use aggregation there is a, a detailed video like uh, how why we need to use aggregation as well please uh, check that we need to import functions because we need to use uh, some uh, uh, some libraries related to functions so I am importing it and in the aggregation we have a method called F, uh, map from entries it will map the data based on the given details so we are using that and inside that it, it we, we will list because here we have uh, two columns to be listed inside this uh, uh, JSON format or dictionary format right so because of that reason I am taking collect list as well here collect list what it will do is if there are let's say uh, in first row 4 or 5 then the collect list will collect that as a list in this format okay so the for that reason I am using collect list and inside the collect list what we need to send is usually we can send directly the name okay for example if you need only the item name then item name you can send this then what it will do is if there are any because now we are grouping by this right it will um, uh, what is it uh, collect as a list we, which means I just explained right it will put it in a list format so this kind of format you will get it using the collect, li collect list but now we need like a format like with the uh, arrow marker uh, like JSON format dictionary kind of format so for that reason I am not giving this list like this here I am using the struct so that we will get it in a structured format and inside that I am saying that I need for these two columns 
okay for these two columns and then we have to give alias of this purchases because we need a name for the outer tag in the csv right if you see here customer id customer name and then we need a outer tag for the purchases for holding all the items along with the quantity so because of that reason i am i am renaming i mean i am uh, giving the re name as all purchases here now let's print this and if you see all these whatever uh, items like for example for 101 right there are two rows present this one and this one so pen and fan and now you can see pen and fan this way okay so i think we have given this way mm. okay now it's very clear right now we can see the full data so see for 101 101 pen and fan pen 10 quantity fan one quantity and for 103 only one record that's why there only one one uh, entry is there and even for 102 only one record so only one entry and again for 100 there are two records so there are two book and box 5 and 8 quantity and now you can see this has been collected as a list okay so now next one is we have to get it in almost near the adjacent format okay so i am saying that my format you can take any any variable names here okay so here i am saying that for i in from here we need to do collect so df which means that for each row in df for the from this data frame okay for each row we need to apply this uh, formatting so we are saying that for each row in df to collect so what we have to do is we have to convert that as dictionary so i am saying that there is a method called as dict i am calling that and inside that we have to do it in recursive manner right so i am saying that recursive equal to true okay so now we are saying that con for each row in the data frame 2 which is this one for each row recursively convert that row e here i means row let me put it as row okay so that you can clearly understand for each row in this df2 convert that dictionary recursively which means that here we have to do recursive manner so that's why we are giving this option here now print my format Now friends, you can see here, right? It has created a dictionary format with the customer ID, customer name and all the purchases are wrapped inside the purchases. You can see here, right? See? So now, when I take this out and paste it in a text pad, you can clearly see, right, for customer ID there is only one line ok so for 100 apple 2 purchases for 101 banana 2 purchases for 102 and 103 only one purchase so this way we can convert from this to this ok I will give this code I will uh, check in this code in github and I will give the link in the description box if you have any queries in the format or something you can always uh, give your feedback in the comment section thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning thank you